When I was a kid, the guys up and down the road that I lived with always were doing something together. If it wasn't playing sports, it was fishing or hunting or seeing what kind of trouble we could get into. We had several families that lived up and down the little old road that I lived on there before you got to South River. and. I was usually the youngest one of the crowd, so whatever the older guys did, I went along with them. There was a family that lived up the road from us before you got up to Klondike store, and it was the Skinner family. There was four boys and one girl. There was Charles Skinner, Donald Skinner, Michael Skinner, Janice Skinner and Edward Skinner. Edward loved to fish. He loved to fish so much that we nicknamed, nicknamed him that, Fish Skinner. But the guy I wanted to talk about tonight was Donald. He was the second oldest and Donald was a pretty neat guy. He, walked up and down the road. You'd see him walking back and forth to the store and he was always recognizable before you ever got to him. He had that kind of 50s look, I guess you could say, when he walked up and down the road. He had his penny loafers on, didn't have any socks on, straight-legged jeans, and he'd always wear a t-shirt, a white t-shirt with the arms cut out. And he took up for me on occasion whenever we'd get into scuffles or something, play sports, and some of the guys from out of town might play with us, and one of them one time got real rowdy with me, and me being the smallest one, he took it upon himself to take up for me, and I don't guess I'll ever forget that. That guy backed down pretty quick. But anyway, uh, one night as I was out in the town on up the road from us. I was eating pizza and all the guys were there eating pizza and somebody came in and said Donald Skinner got killed tonight. And boy it hit me like a ton of bricks. I always looked up to Donald and thought a lot of him and I was just blown away. I had to get the details on what had happened and so the boys and I was with that night and I we loaded up the car and rode down to the Skinner house and <clears throat> there was several other people from the community there and we began to ask questions about what had happened and the guy that Donald was out with that night his name was David turns out they were in town at some pool hall somewhere they shouldn't have been and a uh, guy in the pool hall got upset and angry at another fella and went outside of the pool hall and uh, David drove an old Corvette, souped up Corvette and he had his windows down, his doors unlocked just like everybody did back in that day. I mean nobody had to lock up anything. And that guy as he walked by David's car, he saw a little old 22 pistol. Uh, he picked up that pistol and went back in that pool hall and just went to randomly shooting. And David said that he come in there and shot and shot that Donald right through the heart. Said Donald went to the floor and looked up at David when he ran over there to him and just smiled at him and his life left him. Don used to always tell us that he wasn't going to live long. It's funny how people know things like this, but I think he was running along about 19 years old when he got shot and killed. The guy that was shooting didn't even mean to kill him. Foolhardy to walk into anywhere shooting a gun randomly like that. 
but that's the way we lost Donald Skinner and David was so upset about it that night and the Skinner boys that were left they were upset and there was some scuffling there after it all happened some of them started pointing the finger at David and he felt terrible about what had happened he got in that Corvette you know how sounds carry so far up the road at night time when everything's kind of quiet. He left off in that coal bed and I thought sure as the world he was going to wreck that thing. We heard him wide open going up the road for I don't know how many miles. Shifting gears and tearing rubber up. And he was really, really upset that night as we all were. But that's the story of Donald Skinner and hated to lose a good friend like that, but unfortunately we lost him in that manner and had to adjust to him not being around the community and in the town anymore. Thanks for listening. Y'all take care.